Hey, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're an automotive technician, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that hopefully help you make more money and be more efficient. And if you're a customer of one of these technicians, you're gonna get an insight into what we do on a daily basis to fix your vehicle. So I hope you enjoy the next video. All right, once your vehicle's all set up and ready to flash, you'll plug in your MicroPod 2 to the DLC port. Once that happens, it'll start to register the vehicle. There we go. And once it's registered, we select anywhere here in the gray box. Just click it. That'll bring up our network topology. If we click the All Flashes tab at the top, bring up our only flash that's available. To the far right, there's an arrow. Select that. That'll bring you to the screen where you'll want to click here, selecting that you understand that you're flashing. I'll ask you to select a category of why. This particular vehicle, we have a check engine light that meets a flash. So we'll put flash for two codes and drivability concern. Alright, and we'll click uh, Flash ECU. Yeah, it looks good. Go ahead and select it. And I'll put in my login credentials here. Then the flash process starts. I'll go ahead and fast forward through as much of this as possible. That was easy. So we'll cycle the ignition off. Then we will cycle it right back on. Looks like we'll have to press OK for this one. It'll go ahead and finalize the flash process real quick. This will take a few minutes, but I'll fast forward through it as well. And it says complete. Gives us our uh, old and new calibration numbers there. Click view DTCs. Surprisingly, there's only one, so we'll go ahead and click clear. We want to clear codes after every module flash. All right, and it's flashed. So if we go back over to topology, see no codes, no flash lightning bolt. It says it's up to date. Gives our calibration part number. Shows our TSBs that were documented for the flash, but now it's complete. So. If we go back over to the topology, let me show you something. I mentioned this once before. If we go cycle the key off, you can see what a non-responsive module looks like. There we go. So the ORC and then all the mission critical powertrain modules shut off after the key cycled off. And then the, the tip and the total integrated power module, which is also our uh, central gateway module, and the radio and the WCM and a few others stay active at all times. But uh, there you go. There's the flash procedure on a Chrysler YTEC 2.0. Uh, what I consider to be one of the simplest flashes to do. Um, so until next time. Alright, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, you'll probably like this video or even this video. And remember, subscribe, comment below, tell me what you didn't like about it or what kind of videos you'd like to see next, and hit the bell icon. That way you get a notification every time I make a new video, which is almost weekly now. So see you next time.